Elon Musk's all-new hydrogen cars shocks the entire car industry. We all know how Tesla is the world's biggest electric vehicle producer since the company launched in 2003. Elon Musk has been committed to making better living standards through excellent technology and protecting our green earth. As the world races towards more renewable energy and transportation solutions to battle with climate change, the popularity of electric vehicles is increasing and the technology behind it is constantly evolving. With Tesla at the front line of this innovation, the company has declared its next big plan. The launch of a new energy source, hydrogen fuel cells. Now this brings the question, what are hydrogen fuel cells and how will they alter your driving experience? Continue watching this video to explore the probabilities that exist with these fantastic fuel cells and how Tesla has expanded these possibilities even more. Musk has toyed with every area of technological development, from space technology to social media. Musk is right in the middle of everything, and his businesses are at the front line of every sphere they occupy. One of the causes he's especially interested in is climate change and how standards of living can be changed to avert its advancement. In order to attain his goals, Musk has invested into every eco-friendly project you can think of and utilizes every platform he has to make climate change better. We are all aware that vehicles are one of the biggest contributors to climate change because of fuel combustion. This is due to the engines producing gas that dramatically affect climate and lessen air quality. But electric cars have demonstrated to be superior alternatives and are gradually replacing conventional cars. Tesla, Musk's multi-billion dollar automotive company, is the biggest electrical vehicle producer globally manufacturing half a million electric vehicles yearly. Tesla is around 50% responsible for how electric cars are now way more socially acceptable like most automobile manufacturers. Tesla makes electric cars that operate on batteries. These batteries can be compared to your laptop battery, but they're way bigger and most of the time they have extended charging times. The electric vehicle batteries usually have stacks of cells organized into units and these stacks of cells are charged with electricity from the grid through a charging station or by plugging the vehicle into a power socket. The batteries boast characteristics that assist them in conserving energy, but similar to your laptop battery, they can only go so long until they need to be charged again. Based on the long charging time, range anxiety, and cost of obtaining a battery electric vehicle, consumers are discouraged from buying one of these cars, but automobile engineers have found an alternative that eradicates most of these cons. This alternative power source is hydrogen. In answer to this discovery, Musk gave a rather unexpected answer. He said that hydrogen as a power source is more of a marketing strategy for automakers than a long-term solution. He also asserted that even the very best hydrogen technology doesn't come close to the energy density of a modern lithium-ion battery pack, like that discovered in the Model S, an electric car manufactured by Tesla. According to Musk, hydrogen technology is only acceptable when adapting to rocket technology, disregarding his comment. Other automobile brands carried on to produce vehicles utilizing the new technology, so what is a hydrogen fuel cell and how does it operate? The fuel cell is an efficient power plant appropriately positioned among the other components of the car's machinery along its bottom and operates with other elements to yield energy. Other elements include a battery electric engine and hydrogen tank. The neck of the tank is situated on one of the car's sides and can be recharged at a hydrogen station in just under 5 minutes through this outlet. One fuel cell cannot create enough electricity to power up an appliance as big as a vehicle, so several fuel cells are heaped one on top of another and all work together to generate a good amount of energy in the fuel cell. A process called reverse electrolysis takes place when hydrogen reacts with oxygen. The hydrogen is taken from one or more hydrogen tanks present depending on the structure of the car while the surrounding air provides the oxygen. When these two elements react, the electrical energy required to power the vehicle is manufactured. Fuel cells are always supplied with the chemicals necessary to operate, hence it's not possible to run out and electricity is continually being generated. The generated electricity can go one of two ways, depending on the vehicle's requirements. 
It can be provided to the electric motor from where it powers the vehicle, or it can charge the battery which stores the energy until it's needed. Compared to the battery of other electric vehicles, the battery of a fuel cell electric vehicle is smaller because it's continually being charged by the fuel cell. Even though in the public's mind, hydrogen fuel cells are falling behind, and scientists believe hydrogen fuel cell batteries hold a lot of promise. Aside from electrical energy, the fuel cell generates water as a byproduct. This is let off as pure water vapor via the exhaust. Water vapor is not a dangerous gas, so fuel cell electric vehicles give positively to the purity of air. But whether it improves climate change is an entirely different question. The quality of the hydrogen utilized in the tank determines whether the byproducts of the fuel cell take part in climate change or not. The quality of the hydrogen produced is determined by the source of the energy utilized in its production. If renewable energy sources are utilized, the hydrogen production has a neutral carbon footprint, and when this hydrogen is burnt as a fuel cell, its byproducts aren't a danger to the climate. However, the reverse applies when non-renewable energy sources are utilized in hydrogen production. The hydrogen fuel cell technology demonstrates that electromobility can be distinct from people's perception of it. But from a user standpoint, what is the difference in the driving experience? One of the most notable differences is how the engine sounds. Electric cars aren't similar to mechanically powered cars. This is because electric cars are propelled wholly by electrical energy, so you'll see how amazingly quiet the car is when you drive one. Hydrogen fuel cars stand out even among their electric car equivalents considering charging time. Electric cars can take between 30 minutes and a few hours to entirely charge, but it mostly depends on the battery's capacity and other factors. However, hydrogen fuel cars are ready to roll out on the road in no time, considering the hydrogen tanks are full. This makes them as flexible as traditional cars. The ability of charging their battery readily along with the amount of energy a hydrogen tank can dissipate. The range of a battery electric car can be improved, but it'll involve getting a bigger battery. Consequently, the solution not only adds to the car's weight, but also improves charging time. With a full hydrogen tank, a fuel cell can run up to almost 500 kilometers, and in five minutes of refueling, it's ready to operate another 500 kilometers. On April 1, 2022, Musk shocked the world when he announced through Twitter that from 2024, Tesla would be producing only hydrogen fuel cell cars. This was unexpected because in the past, Musk named hydrogen fuel cells full cells and dubbed the technology mind-bogglingly stupid. The billionaire stated, I was wrong about full cells, they're amazing. Musk also stated that the first vehicle to be produced with the hydrogen fuel cells will be named Model H. He also mentioned that Model H will boast innovative technology and is anticipated to hit 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds with a range of 450 kilometers. Model H is the first ever hydrogen powered car to expect from Tesla, and it most certainly won't be the last. Model 2 and Model 0 are anticipated to be released in 2025 and 2027, respectively, and both are expected to be fantastic cars. Hydrogen fuel cars are costly to acquire and fuel, mostly due to the rarity of the cars and hydrogen stations. But there is a possibility of it changing in the next decade. Because improving climate change is a massive priority and most automobile companies are jumping on the moving train.